All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am continuing with part three of my Thor News 420 Technical Difficulties Marathon, where, because my main editing program, Premiere, has gone down, and I cannot have access to it until they open up in the morning, I guess. Let's hope it happens then. So I have to be making lo-fi videos, because my super program right here <clears throat> is somehow broken. Where it won't play video. The video is just stuck. And everything I've tried all day won't work. Now that I bored you with that information, allow me to creep you out with this information. Oh, so what I'm doing is, since my super high tech capabilities are taken away from me, I'm just doing them real easy. Like, just showing you the article and reading it. I'm trying it out. This is part three. Whereas the last episode we were talking about signs in the heavens, and we'll call this one signs in science. Get ready to get creeped out. This is going to be a wild roll. This is going to be a wild roller coaster ride. As I do these semi live, almost every hour. We're at Space Daily, your portal to space, but space is everywhere, so you don't really need a portal to get there. Dragon Space, Chinese scientists. Develop mammal embryos in space for the first time. Okay. This is really creepy. I don't know what develop means in this situation, but why are you creating them? And then why are you creating them in space? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's next? Side of a volcano? Like, scientists create mammal embryos in lava. I don't know what the next step is. Okay. I'm just going to read these articles. Here we go. Chinese scientists on Sunday said they have successfully developed early stage mouse embryos in space for the first time on a retrievable microgravity satellite set to return to Earth sometime next week. Okay, so space exploration is pretty non-existent when it comes to human beings and mammals. I mean, they don't even spend... They don't even send monkeys to space anymore, man. You know what I'm saying? It'd be too expensive to send a monkey to the moon. Maybe. That was too many M's. Okay, here we go. The SJ-10 research probe <clears throat> launched on April 6th. Carried over 6,000 mouse embryos in a self-sufficient chamber the size of a microwave oven. That's gross. <laughs> you know? What a picture to paint. 6,000 mass embryos in a microwave oven. That's what science is doing. Awesome. Science and science, according to Duan and en en Enaki. Oh, God. Is this real? I think so, maybe. A researcher with the Chinese Academy of Sciences, CAS, among them 600 embryos. Wait, I just screwed that sentence up. I just screwed that sentence, sentence up. It's like I can't even talk anymore. This technical difficulty day, 420 style, is wild. Forgive me. Okay, here we go. Among them, 600 embryos were put under a high-resolution camera. Wonderful. Which took pictures every four hours for four days and sent them back to Earth. Oh, I can see our future getting a whole lot brighter here, can't you? You see, this photo was provided by the Institute of People's Zoology, Chinese Academy of Sciences, shows the mouse embryos. Look at our mouse embryos in a microwave. They're totally synthetic. Uh, so we are one step closer to properly putting Walt Disney's brain into the Android clone thingy, I guess. All right. I'm definitely going to pick a less serious article or less creepy article for my uh, next one I think okay the picture shows the embryos developed from a two cell stage an early on embryonic cleavage stage there is nothing sexy about mouse embryo cleavage let me tell you sir to blastocyst that sounds destructive and painful man I got calm out it's crazy Oh no, I just blew my microphone out. The stage where 
noticeable cell differentiation occurs. Around 72 hours after SJ-10's launch, Duran said, the timing was largely in line with embryonic development on Earth, he added. Man, I'm wondering, since I'm going to do a video every hour, you know, uh, I didn't really get much sleep. They might get crazier as I go along. So, if you're going to somehow try and watch this festival, bear with me. Okay? I have a little patience. Because I'm starting to hallucinate that I'm talking about scientists putting 600 mouse embryos in a microwave in space and then photographing and going, hey, y'all, look at my mouse embryos. Is this the real thing? Ooh, fixatives. What the hell are those? Fixative laxatives. Next, on Stellar Science. The rest of the embryos loaded on the satellite were injected with fixatives. Sweet. At 72 hours after the launch. For studies on the effects of space environment on embryonic development, says Duan. This is the first reported successful development in mammalian. It's a real word, bro. Embryos in space in human history. Scientists will compare the retrieved embryos with samples on Earth and perform further analyses on the profiles of early embryo development in space. Once SJ-10 returns home. Man, this is breaking news half the press. Exciting way to start your Wednesday. SJ-10 is expected to land in a designated spot in Swizzy Wang. Whoa, I said it wrong. Sizzy Wang. Banner. In Inner Mongolia. Sometime next week. I am parched. Early reports said the probe as a whole had a designed life of just 15 days. Alright. That's creepy. I don't know if I'll make it too much farther. The bullet-shaped probe is said to be housing a total of 19 experiments involving microgravity fluid physics, microgravity combustion. But hey, why would you need microgravity combustion? Oh yeah, engines. Asterisk? Space material. Man, space is everywhere, so isn't everything space material? Space radiation effects. Oh, you put a space radiation effect into the bullet thingy? We got bullets in microwaves. Microgravity biological effects in space biotechnology. Okay, great. My faith in science and humanity has been restored. These include one study of how space radiation affects the genetic stability of fruit flies and rat cells. And a combustion experiment which will test how materials used in space craft burn in space. Find ways of making safer capsules for future manned missions. <sighs> Microwave mouse embryos in space. Okay, cool. An experiment being run in partnership between National Space Science Center under the CAS and European Space Agency will investigate the behavior of crude oil under high pressure. Yes, we're going to have spaceships run oil and gasoline. Man, it has to be big though. Have a big old tank, cause you wanna like get halfway across the galaxy and find out they don't have gasoline stations there. You know, maybe they're not as developed as us or whatever. Why am I sad now? I'm sad, but I'm gonna get happy in the next episode. I'm gonna talk about brown dwarfs and stuff. There's another one half the press. They found another rogue. Brown dwarf, five to ten times the size of Jupiter. This is crazy shit. Well, that's way crazier fun than, uh, this science crap. Okay, great, man. Like, why can't you, you should probably legalize weed, or, I'm sorry, Mary Jane marijuana. Because, uh, if you're going to allow scientists to just pump mouse embryos in space and radiate them and do stuff, then you should definitely be allowed to sit on your porch, playing your guitar, kissing your girlfriend. And thinking about how crazy that crap is. Did I say that properly? I would not want to represent the marijuana legalizers improperly. I'm just saying, man. Like, adults should be able to control themselves. And 
do things in moderation. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. Ten minutes. Cool. I hope this is okay. You forgive me for doing this all day marathon of extreme lo fi. No bells and whistles. No bells and whistles. For a new style. Thanks. I appreciate it. Stay cool.